What's up you guys, it's Henry. Today we have to talk about Tesla because things are getting serious with this stock. Specifically Friday is the last day before Tesla will have its five for one stock split. So Monday is going to be crazy, a very crazy day of trading and you're going to wanna to watch this video through to the end if you wanna properly take advantage of this event. In this video, I will cover what to expect Monday and what's likely to happen in the next few weeks for Tesla stock's price. I'm going to give my YouTube family a full analysis and give you guys my thoughts on Tesla stock price target estimate. Are you ready to get stupid rich? Let's jump into it. Oh, and you guys, if you are in the US and wanna get two free stocks, Webull is an app similar to Robinhood. The link is in my description and you get one free stock for just signing up, no commitment, in a second when you deposit just $100. This deal is ending August 31st, so make sure you do not miss out on that. I'll have the link for you guys below. So Henry, why is Tesla likely to reach $3,000 per share in the very near future? Well, you guys, let's discuss the most important event of the whole year for Tesla and take a look at what's happening on September 22nd. On September 22nd, it is actually Battery Day. Tesla is an electric vehicle manufacturer at its core and Battery Day is a very highly anticipated event by Wall Street and many investors. This is a two-fold event and really matters for Tesla and here are the two things that you really need to pay attention to because they are so important and they're gonna make an extreme difference for Tesla's stock price. Number one, CEO Elon Musk and other executives will share information about a battery that may potentially have a 1 million mile lifespan. This is important psychologically because the durability of a battery makes long-term ownership of a Tesla a no-brainer and destroys all other competition. It also increases its value for ride-sharing services, future robo-taxis, and just straight up car ownership. Two, we're going to be looking out for news on its range. Tesla is a lifestyle brand and computer on wheels. It has software updates and can increase its acceleration and range just from a simple update over the air. You didn't know that? That's okay, welcome to my channel, my name's Henry, and we discuss cool trends, stocks, and I make my subscribers stupid rich. So subscribe and smash the like button. All right, but on a more serious note, the range announcement will be vital because it increases consumers' desire to actually own an electric vehicle if they like driving a little longer distances, and it proves to investors that Tesla can keep innovating. Just to put in perspective how important the battery day is for Tesla, the vice chairman and president of China's newest publicly traded electric vehicle maker, Xping Motors, is waiting in their chairs to see if Tesla changes the battery game at its upcoming battery day. This is the same for all competition. They are just sitting there like gazelles drinking water at the African savanna while Tesla is like a male lion ready to dominate and catch its kill. That's exactly what I see happening on September 22nd. Okay, Harasho, so now let's talk about Monday and what I'm watching out for. Guys, we gotta be lions here and our family deserves to feast. Shares will open on Monday at roughly $400 per share one fifth of where the stock currently trades now. Since the split was announced, Tesla shares have gained 70%. Here's a chart of what has happened since that event. The split is a big catalyst and I'm personally betting on Monday, a lot of investors will hop into the stock and push it towards $500 per share. That's about $2,500 per share. Again, $2,500 per share currently. And then I estimate that after battery day, we will be at a whopping $3,000 pre-split and up to $600 per share post-split. Another wild card for Tesla stock traders is the shares are going to be potentially included in the S&P 500. After Tesla reported a profit under generally accepted accounting principles, in its most recent quarter, the stock qualifies for the index. I predicted that in this Tesla video about the S&P 500 inclusion. So at this point, what could go wrong? Well, in terms of fundamentals, the PE is over 1,000. Is this a troubling sign? Eh, kind of. Guys, this is what you have to know. Nobody can accurately predict the stock market consistently. Not Warren Buffett, not me, not Yahoo Finance, not Ray Dalio, and not smashing the like button. 
wait a second, if you smash the like button and subscribe, maybe that'll allow you to predict the market. So is the PE a stock killer? Not exactly because a high PE signals crazy growth expectations. The worst that could happen is Tesla slows down in growth and competition increases. Could that happen? Sure, anything could happen and that could hurt the stock. But in my opinion, there is about a 10% chance Tesla will encounter significant issues and the stock will drop. I place 50% chance that it will go up steadily and hit 3,000 per share pre-split in the near future. And of course, you know, that is $600 post-split. Now the remaining 40%, I think Tesla could blow past these numbers altogether completely in the long term as they surprise us with a faster than expected innovation cycle, especially something like robo taxis. Speaking of innovation, I'm starting my own Arc H portfolio with a real $10,000 that will be actively managed on my Patreon page. I'm going to start it Monday and compete with Kathy Woods by having 15 to 20 hand selected stocks, showing you guys exactly when I buy and sell in that portfolio so you guys can track it and I can help you guys mimic my portfolio of innovative long term growth stocks. It's going to be a fun experiment and also instead of you guys paying an expense ratio to buy ARC funds, you get something very similar with my Patreon plus extra content I will post like my Sunday brief and Monday options trades. Link in my description. To wrap up this video, let's take a look at Tesla's options and technicals to see what the price fluctuations can do to this stock in the very near future. All right, guys, so we're going to be taking a look at the chart for Tesla. We're going to be looking at the technicals. Then I'm going to go over to options. I'm going to explain the options very well because I might be taking a break for a couple days. So I want to do my very best job to explain the whole options chain, exactly what's going to be happening in the near term and long term for Tesla. And then we're going to be taking a look at Robinhood, which is insane. The actual split already happened because Friday was the last day. So that's why my screen now says Tesla $443. And that's just insane. If you take a look real quick, my average price was $108. And yes, I have a whole lot of Tesla. That's because I'm very serious about investing and I've been doing it for a long time. And I'm super excited to do the same when I make my own Arc H portfolio on Monday. So I'm going to try to pick stocks that are going to quadruple or triple within time of course and i'm going to try to do that for you guys as well so let's take a look at the chart and looking at the chart it looks like tesla is really in an uptrend i mean we we already know that and yahoo finance hasn't made the split yet but obviously we know that the split will be 443 and looking at the moving day average i mean this stock is just way way above the moving day average and this trend is likely to continue i don't think the mania is going to stop um yes the rsi is 79 and i've been talking a lot about that on my channel but seriously i'm not concerned because just so many investors want to be a part of tesla there's a lot of fomo and to be honest the fomo isn't a bad thing because even i have fomo i have a you know i don't want to curse on youtube because i'm family friendly but i have a you know how like a lot a lot of Tesla and still I feel like I want more I feel like oh I missed out even though I made a ton of money I'm like oh could have made more I could have played with options but I didn't right because I'm not perfect I make mistakes too and taking a look at the chart it's just going to continue probably going up like I said I think after this split we can definitely see like $500 per share even up to $600 per share and so on um, with time, maybe with one more earning statement, but I definitely think Monday trading is going to be crazy. I wouldn't be surprised to see a 10% pop on Monday as beginning investors and mom and pop will just kind of jump into the stock. So let's take a look at bar charts and I'm going to explain the whole options chain. That's what I do. That's what I'm creating my course on. There's a free link in the description to sign up. It's going to take me a long time because I need to put a lot of quality into it. I really care about high quality stuff. So guys, I'm gonna walk you through my thought process. It's really not super difficult. All this is, is these are just a bunch of strikes where people think that the stock may go to and they're betting on that potentially happening. That's all it is. Options are just bets. And let's take a look at what people are betting. What do they think is going to happen? Now, this is before the split. Now, clearly all of this will be split into five pieces. It's no big deal. Nothing really changes. They're just all split into five pieces like a pie. I've been saying that multiple times. So taking a look, let's look at the volume. So this is exactly what I do. I scan and holy moly. Wow. 
look at that volume is decent okay that's high okay okay and boom <laughs> that is a lot of volume okay i mean 11 000, basically 12,000 shares or 12,000 contracts i should say a contract is worth 100 shares every option is always worth 100 shares no matter what now the volume is very high and the open interest is not so high what does this mean guys I'll tell you exactly what it means. It means a lot of people are extremely bullish for this Friday. They literally think that, and they don't think, they're betting. And, I, and I'm comfortable with this bet. This is exactly what I kind of talk about on Patreon. This is exactly the type of bets that I make. I like these short-term bets because the investor sentiment is just so hot. And clearly people are betting one week in advance, all on one strike, which is the $2,300 strike which divided by five is what, 400, 460, $460. Wow, I'm still good at math. Okay, $460. And yeah, that's kind of what I expect to happen. It's at 443, 460 is super reasonable and potentially even more, like I said, 10%. So yeah, that's what I look at. Um, do you guys wanna look at puts? I think, I think someone said yes. Okay, so let's look at puts. <laughs> Uh, there's quite a bit of volume right here. So I like instantly just glance. I just see right away with volume here, 2200. So some people are looking on the downside, but really not much. Uh, and it went up just a little bit in terms of price, but that's because Tesla did kind of retract 1%. No big deal at all. I mean, listen, if you can't handle a retraction in the stock, if you can't handle a stock going down a little bit, you shouldn't be investing. I mean, stocks go down. If you always want to go up, uh, stocks don't work like that. Life doesn't work like that. You can make a fortune, but you have to put in the work. You have to do the research and you have to practice safe risk management skills. So don't just buy options, put your whole net worth in options and expect to be a billionaire millionaire. No, investing is a long-term game and I'm teaching you guys exactly how to play this long-term game, not the short-term game. This could be smart. This could be a great investment, but you don't want to put your entire life savings into it. And to be honest, $8,600, I mean, yeah, I do pretty well in the stocks, but like even I don't want to like plop in $8,600, partly because I have so many shares already. Now let's look into, by the way, if I'm being so opinionated and you guys want me to just get to the point more and not give you my logic, just let me know because I um, just want to make this uh, video interesting. You know, I want to give you my whole thought process and how I think. Uh, so let's look at the longer term. Let's look into November. So November is really interesting because there's going to be some, you know, obviously elections and kind of scared because the stock market could either go up or down. I mean, there could be significant risk. Honestly, like I need to do more research and I might release a video in September in a few days about election risk because that is serious. I mean, that's going to be a big deal, but I don't know what's going to happen yet. So no, no thoughts there just yet. Looking at November 20. So that is in about, you know, almost three months. Let's take a look at the options. They're so pricey. That's what I'm just saying right now. The midpoint is like $28,000 how am i getting that because everything's 100 shares so i'm basically just moving two decimal points over so that's how i know this is twenty eight thousand four hundred thirty eight dollars looking at the volume volume is pretty weak i mean seems like uh, a lot of people like to gamble short term but uh long term especially in tesla it seems like a lot of investors are very short term minded which is fine guys uh, we all like to make money short term and my channel is here to make you money like i i want to make money for my audience i want my subscribers to be stupid rich and uh, you know just make people happy and that way the universe will reward me in return and i will get you know patreon members and uh subscribers likes on the smash button and you know future course sales when i create the best course on the internet hands down 2,500 people are kind of buying it. You know, there's some volume here, but really not that much. So to be honest, guys, this is why I kind of showed you this. A lot of people are bullish short term, but long term, not sure. But short term, oh boy, I am ready for some upwards action. And yeah, hope that was really helpful. Upwards action in the short term is my opinion. That's what I think is going to happen. And I think we were going to go to like 1460 on Monday and potentially 500 in the very near future meaning like next week so yep that's my bet and uh let's keep going on with the video Whew. 
All right, I hope that was helpful and gives you guys a lot of information on what to expect. I'm super excited about turning Patreon into a very serious education platform where I create very different content that is very relevant to the content that I create on YouTube. I believe you guys deserve the highest quality education on finances and investing, and you don't need to spend $300,000 on a finance degree in five years of your life in college like I did. Instead, Uncle Henry is going to share everything I can because I know the more I give to you guys, the more the universe will reward and give back to me, and it's all just a cycle. You give, you get, and then with what you get, you give even more. Other than that, I am super proud of everyone that's investing and making money right now and taking control of their finances. You deserve it, and I'm so happy to be a part of your guys' journey. Have a fantastic day, everyone. I love you all, and you just have to do me one more favor. Be aggressive in learning, but be safe in investing. I'll see you back here soon. Give me that fist bump. No one ever sees me.